you have to imitate you have to imitate the manta so when you do it you have to so, sort of like move your hand your arm a little bit inside and kind of like make a circle so the manta can see this movement okay but when you are doing it you have to try to be at the same level of the manta ray okay kind of saying hi to the manta okay that's what i that's what i do is i'll try to use my hands in a motion to mimic the cephalical fins and i go like this and then i'll maybe open up my arm The eye contact is the most important thing. So you have to look at the eye and try to imitate this movement. And you are, have a, such an amazing experience with the manta. But if you both can have a connection and you can see them close their eyes, blink at you and look at you, and it's one of the most special things that I've ever had in this world, to be able to have an actual connection with this huge fish that weighs tons and tons. When you're giving the manta some bubbles on the stomach, this, this kind of like bubble bath that the manta is getting, it really, really relaxes them. So if you give them the correct amount of bubbles and you're giving them to them in a nice, easy way, the manta will actually come to a complete stop and let you just be underneath it, just providing bubbles and bubbles. Sometimes it's better just to not do so many clicks on your camera and actually pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the cephalic fins, what it's doing, what the eye contact. Because once you have this kind of connection, the manta, if you have a really good connection, the manta will not leave you the entire dive. It will actually come up and actually stay with you until you come up for your safety stop and end the dive. And that's when you know that both you and the manta had an amazing connection and these connections are the most amazing things you could possibly have because you're having a connection with a fish but this fish is one of the fish that has the largest brains in the world of any other fish.